Hey there, welcome to Flearn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flearn.com where we make learning fun. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to change the color of plants, which is a really cool artistic effect. In this case, we're actually gonna match the plant color with colors from our subject's clothing. Let's get into it. So here's our sample image. We're gonna start off by going to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to hue slash saturation. Now with the hue saturation, I can actually choose the color that I'd like to change. In this case, I wanna change the green. So we're gonna change right here where it says master. I'm gonna click there and we're gonna to go to greens. And then I'm gonna simply use my eyedropper tool and then go over here and click on the green we wanna edit. Now, when I change my hue, either to the right or the left, you're gonna see it's only going to affect those greens. Really cool effect. And I wanna just zoom out a little bit and match that to my subject's dress. That's looking really good. Let's turn this off and on just by click on this little eyeball here. Turn that layer off and back on. Now, if you need this to affect more areas, as you can see, it didn't affect everything. It missed a couple of my greens. You can always change this area right here. You can in simply increase the slider amount a little bit to the left and to the right a little bit. This is going to include more area in your color change effect. All right, if you need to do any final little adjustments, you can always go in and create a new layer, hit B for your brush tool, and then I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and sample this color, simply paint over the area I'd like to change color, and then change our blend mode for our layer. For normal, we're gonna go all the way down to the very, very bottom till it says color. So in this case, I could just manually color everything. The hue saturation does a really great job, but there are gonna be a couple cases where it just doesn't do exactly what you want. Then you can kind of come in here and manually color anything that you need to. There we go. Now, I don't wanna stop here at the plant color. I actually wanna include the flowers as well. So the flowers, I want to be a little bit more this red color. So we're gonna do the exact same process. Again, we're gonna to go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to hue slash saturation. All right, same exact process. In this case where it says master, we're gonna change this to yellows because that's the color we wanna affect. We're gonna use our eyedropper tool. Let's go ahead and click on that yellow and it'll automatically update here. And then we can just simply change our hue. And in this case, we're just gonna zoom out and I want that hue to match the subject's dress. This is a really fun effect, incredibly simple to do. Let's go ahead and group all those layers together and take a look at our before and after. So here's the before and the after. Now, as you can see, uh-oh, <laughs> it's changing the color of our subject's skin as well. No big deal. I've got all of my layers here in a group, okay? All of my color layers, they're in one group. So I'm gonna go right down here and click on the layer mask icon. We're gonna add a layer mask, and then I can simply hit B for my brush tool and paint black on my image on my layer mask. And this is going to hide this effect anywhere that I paint this black on my layer mask. So especially over our subject's skin, obviously it didn't look very good with that magenta color. So we wanna just make sure we're painting black anywhere we wanna hide these effects. All right, let's do, zoom out a little bit more and let's just turn this off and on for our before and after. And now you can see our subject doesn't change color at all and our background does. It's a really fun effect that you can do on any type of photo. You can download this sample image and PSD available for free on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Thanks for watching and I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.